Hey guys, welcome back to an all new Cole Culture Automotive video. Today we're gonna be talking about Tommy's ordering process and the experience we had when ordering the 2022 Lariat Hour Boost. Let's jump right into it. If you didn't know, we ordered three trucks, uh, two power boost, one V8, the V8 is mine, the two power boosts are my brother and my father. You're gonna see his truck pretty soon and I filmed that experience. Actually, had some stuff go wrong, so you might wanna go check that video out. But uh, Tommy, tell us about your experience. Tell us how it went for you, how you liked it or disliked it. Let people know before they order a truck. All right, guys, so the reason why I insisted on doing this video, I know Blake had done a video like this, right, when you ordered your truck. Yeah. So the reason why I wanted to kind of follow up on it is I wanted to give you guys my experience with this whole process. And a lot of people don't realize that you can actually order your truck to be exactly how you want it. And I didn't know that. And so once Blake showed me that, I was going on looking looking at lot to lot to lot. Not just that, something that you guys might not know. Over here in California, in the area we live in, they're marking up trucks 10, 15, 20,000. Raptors are getting marked up $40,000. So you order your truck directly from the dealer exactly how you want it. You don't just get exactly what you want and every little thing you want on here. So you want the B&O, you get the B&O. Yeah, if you want like a tow package or maybe a trailer technology package or if you want FX4 or if you just want four wheel drive, um, some things have to come in a package like the new bed utility package um, the tow technology package is how you get the 360 degree camera. The max tow package, you can get 373 rear end, um, which is what we all have on our trucks. Best for towing and best for putting down power. So you could- The moon roof. The, again, yeah, the moon roof. A lot of things that you could specify here. He, I didn't even think about it just because I've known it for so long, but you know, maybe you guys don't realize how specific you can order these trucks. Exactly what you want and you avoid all the markups that are happening right now. Let us know in your state if they're marking up these vehicles like crazy. I think it's complete BS. I don't think they should be able to do it, but the way the market is right now, I know Blaze explained it with his truck. If he doesn't end up taking his truck, they're gonna sell to somebody else and they're gonna make much more money off of it. So right now, they got us by the balls, guys. That's just the truth. So walking you through my process, I went to, down to the dealership. Uh, we spoke to a salesperson and literally, same thing as it would be online you build your truck. I always thought that was on there just for a reference point, but no, you build your truck exactly what you want. If you want a bed cover, you get a bed cover. I optioned for a bed cover, I optioned for a, a safe in here. Those have yet to come, but those are things that I optioned to get. After putting exactly what I want on the truck, uh, it depends, they could pre-approve you if they, if they believe they need to. That was like my first time ordering from this dealership, so I needed to get pre-approved. Blake's ordered through there many times. He did not need to get pre-approved. So I got pre-approved from the bank just to make sure everything was gonna go through and I didn't get my hopes up for nothing. Uh, I signed a paper at the end saying, this is exactly what I wanted on my truck. So now the waiting game starts. In our case, we waited about two months. We got a phone call. Again, we mentioned this before, the trucks got optioned to 22, the 21s were done, okay? Uh, we got the tracking information about two months later. The salesperson let us know about the time our trucks would be in production. Once that happened, I got the VIN number and I got the order number and you can go on Ford's website and you can track exactly where your truck's at. I made a video on that, guys, yeah. so you can see that. When it's gonna go into production date, so mine was set to be in production at the same time as my father's. Blake's was a little bit behind. So mine went to production first, actually. It was completed, built first. Uh, it took about two weeks for it to be completely built. And I, I don't think it really takes that long. I think some of it was just waiting on my chip. I got lucky. I got my chip first. My truck was sent off. And then it gets to the point where you can call a dealership and they'll tell you the exact interstate that yeah. your truck is on right now and when to expect your vehicle. The truck came in, you show up, they do a quick inspection on it. They have to take the plastic off the seats. They gotta do all types of stuff like that. I'm trying to get my truck to come in untouched. That way you guys can sort of see what it comes in looking like. There's a process that the dealership has to go through checkups before they can give you that. And I would say guys, fortunately enough, I didn't have a problem with this. And you guys are gonna see this in the other video that he did with my father's truck, but he had options for a few things on his truck that were not on there. So make sure you guys do a full walkthrough of your vehicle and you need to get exactly what you thought you're gonna be paying for. This is a $60,000 truck. You need to get exactly what you want. It's pretty petty, guys. Yeah, so moving forward, everything else was exactly what you'd expect. We go in, we uh, chalk up the paperwork. I did get $3,000 off. There's a promotion going on. If you're a previous Ford owner, I mean, that's how it is over here. I'm sure that was nationwide, right? That was it from Ford. Be. So you guys, hey, if you're looking to get one right now, you can get $3,000 if you're a previous Ford owner. So look into that. After that, we went in, did the paperwork, and it was easy as that, guys. Uh, the main reason we wanted to make this video though is to let you guys know the process and let you know that you can order your truck exactly how you want it. He also got his 0% off 
My father got his 0% off. I'm getting mine 0% off. That was part of why we went down there in the first place. Tommy got really the perfect experience, I'd say, right? Yeah. Like he only really waited about six months which that's longer than usual, but you know, we understood that it was gonna take longer because of the times we're in. Um, the truck came in, everything he wanted was on it. He got it early than ex earlier than expected by about two weeks. It's fun ordering a truck. Like, it is, it is. I'm not gonna sit here like, yes, my situation's crappy and you can see that in another video, but it is fun ordering a truck knowing like, ooh, you know what I want's coming in. It sort of just becomes that thing where you're just like counting down the days. It's an awesome experience and I, I, I highly recommend it. I just recommend that you're very vigilant with your Ford dealership very stern let them know you know you're about the business side of things it's your truck and they're working for you just remember that yeah they're working for you you're not working for them get exactly what you want I'm gonna just say there's two issues that I do have with my experience the first one's gonna be uh, my father he did get a bed cover I optioned to get the bed cover after the truck came that's something you can do as well so if the truck comes you can go to the parts department option it and you can roll it into your uh, payment. Monthly, monthly payment you finance it before all the paperwork's done. So I optioned for that, but my dad optioned for it ahead of time. His didn't come with a bed cover. Uh, it's already been over two weeks since I've ordered my bed cover. I have no bed cover. His should have came with it. And I do th feel like that's an issue. Again, a part of that I feel like is the dealership not being on it as much as they should and not caring about the customer as much as they should. Again, it was a great experience. The person that helped us, they did great. But as far as things like that, I feel like they should be on it more for you. Another thing is I did option for a safe. Uh, the safe didn't come with the vehicle. Right now I don't have a safe. He, he's gonna be doing a video on the safe. Just to let you guys know if that's an option you wanna go with. If you're pro second amendment, that safe will help you out. Also, if you wanna put, you go to the movies, wanna put your wife's purse in there, whatever you need, you can lock it. This yeah. locks. But then there's a safe in there, so you're du you're double covered. Maybe there. you live in like a shady area. I, who knows? Probably guys. not with a sixty thousand dollar truck. But maybe yeah. you have to go to a shady area. Most maybe maybe you're going to the Super Bowl and you don't have six thousand dollars to park inside the stadium, yeah. and you have to park in Inglewood. Yeah, yeah, that's where you want your safe. It's really meant for firearms um, and uh, personal protective equipment stuff like that but i just would say those are the two issues i did have with the whole situation the reason it's an issue guys he's still getting it he's still financing it and all that's fine but you know he, he works his wife works they have kids it's like now he has to go and fit that into his schedule and inconvenience his life on a separate day for something that wasn't his fault should have came with the truck so you know again it's like yes that's kind of a crybaby thing that we're doing here but it is something that we believe should be mentioned but in about a week and a half i'm gonna have my first payment on this vehicle and I'm paying for things that aren't on the truck that should be on the truck. True. That's why I am going to sit here and cry, cry about it. And I'm not ashamed to do that <laughs> because I should have my safe. Uh, my father should have his bed cover. My bed cover shouldn't sit, take so I long. I should to have come my in. truck. Yeah, he should have his <laughs> truck. Hey, some people have bigger fish to fry. I understand that. But in the overall scheme of things, it still does bother me. And yeah. I, part of the things that bother me is I feel like Ford in general, maybe it's just this dealership, they don't seem like they care enough to get me or to reassure me these things are coming in. So those bother me. Overall, ordering the vehicle, I love that experience. You feel like you're making your baby. Like yeah. you're making exactly what you it's want. It's a Build-A-Bear for a truck. It <laughs> is, yeah. You're, you got your Build-A-Bear and you pick the color, everything else. Uh, oh, another- it Interior color. Yeah, another issue that we did have with ordering the vehicle, and it wasn't my issue, I'm speaking for my father. He actually wanted the space white. Or no, he wanted lead foot. He wanted lead foot, but they discontinued lead foot for 22. We did not know about that. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna go space white. Well, guess what? They discontinue space white for 22. Which is odd because they didn't necessarily discontinue it as much as they made it so that it wasn't an order option. So you'll see 2022 space whites on dealerships, but you can't order a 2022 space white. It's just something odd. I don't know if it was a glitch in the system. Something so easy as the yeah. paint on the vehicle shouldn't be a problem. Again, those are just little minute things, but those are some issues that I had. But overall guys, it was a great experience. I would tell you, stay off the lot, unless you can find something that fits what you want perfectly, Stay off the lot, stay away from the markups, stay away from those BS packages, those Rouse packages, those Rocky Ridge packages, stay away from those 100,000 trucks, XLTs, don't make sense. So one quick question that I'm gonna have for Blake, I want his opinion on this, and I don't know what your guys' opinion on it. this is, would you still go this route knowing that the Ford factories are shut down? You ordered your truck in August, the official day I guess now is Halloween, October 31st. Would you still go this route knowing you might have to wait until 
winter time to get your truck. My experience is a struggle and there will be a whole other video on this, but my overall recommendation is still gonna be yes, because the bottom line is guys, I mean, it sucks for me. I sold my Ranger, I had a bad ass Ranger. Super cool, I sold it. Threw my neck out. Trying to like, trying to figure out a timeline of like, oh, I don't need this car, I'm gonna borrow this car, all this stuff. Um, So it's really inconvenienced me in my life, but I'd rather be inconvenienced than pay ten or fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, and again, guys, I don't know with where you're at. Who knows where you're at? Alabama, Kansas, Missouri. I don't know. I don't know if they're better places than California. I don't know if they're screwing you like they're screwing us over here with these markups. But here, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they're getting their money from us. Yeah, and. I would say if you're in a position where you can wait, build a truck. If you absolutely love the power boost or you love the F-150 overall, you're gonna wanna just go out and buy one if that's the case. If you want one right now, then you're gonna have to wait a long, long time the way things are going. Not just power, like not just F-150, not just power boost, F-250s, Mustangs, uh, Explorers, everything. Right now ordering, at least with Ford and through our experience. Broncos too, right? <laughs> you joking? Okay, never mind. <laughs> And Bronco, no, Broncos, you aren't getting an MSRP for it. doesn't matter where you go. Rhetorical. <laughs> yeah. That's a rhetorical question, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. That's pretty much all we got for you in this video. Hey, if you're thinking about ordering a truck, we definitely recommend it. It won't be a smooth sale, but we guarantee you'll probably enjoy yourselves, especially if you're a truck guy or gal overall. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you made it to this point in the video, please subscribe. We're already here. We've got more videos like this coming out each and every day during the week. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.